वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस द रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ ग्रुप 16 एलिमेंट्स विद ऑक्सीजन एंड हेलोजन सो फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस द रिएक्टिविटी विद ऑक्सीजन एंड व्हेन एनी कंपाउंड रिएक्ट्स विद ऑक्सीजन देन द न्यू कंपाउंड्स फॉर्म्ड आर नोन एज ऑक्साइड्स सो हियर वी कैन से दैट द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स एज वेल सो ऑल द ग्रुप 16 एलिमेंट्स form two main oxides like eo2 or eo3 type oxides or they can you can say eo2 like dioxide eo3 like trioxides where e is any of the group 16 element now first of all we will discuss dioxides and in this the structure of dioxides the dioxides of the element of group 16 they will form like uh, they will have the form of eo2 types and they will have the different structures because uh, they are formed by p pi p pi multiple bonds basically and uh, they have a different structure why this is so this is because uh, as you move down the group the size of the atom gets increases and due to increase in the size the tendency to form p pi p pi multiple bonds gets decreases that's why the dioxides of group 16 have different structures क्योंकि अगर हम डाउन द ग्रुप मूव करेंगे तो वी नो डेट एटम का साइज इंक्रीज होता है और अगर एटम का साइज इंक्रीज होगा तो जो उनकी टेंडेंसी है पी पाए पी पाए मल्टीपल बॉन्ड्स को फॉर्म करने की वो टेंडेंसी विल गेट डिक्रीजेस ड्यू टू ड्यू टू दिस द डाइऑक्साइड हैव डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स नाउ हेयर वी विल डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एस ओ टू डाइऑक्साइड ऑफ सल्फर सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इट इज द ऑक्साइड ऑफ सल्फर Uh, this SO2 has bent or the angular structure. It has bent or the angular structure in which sulfur atom is sp2 hybridized, having one lone pair of electron in it. And the two pi bonds in SO2 are different because one is formed by p pi p pi overlap and the other is formed by p pi d pi overlap. But the so bonds have exactly same bond lengths it is around 143 picometers which is due to the resonance between the two structures the bonds the formation or the nature of the two so bonds so bonds are different but their bond lengths are same the bond lengths are same because of the uh, because uh, the two structures are forming the resonance in between them and we can see in this in the image as well the so2 has a bent structure you can see here this so2 has bent structure or the angular structure in which one lone pair of electron is present here and one sulfur uh, so one oxygen is attached with double bond with the sulfur atom and the other oxygen is attached with the single bond that with that center atom sulfur and uh, what is happening here one bond is the p pi p pi overlap one bond of sulfur and oxygen is the p pi p pi overlap where is the other bond is due to the d pi p pi d pi overlap because the sulfur has vacant d orbital in its valency cell that's why the other over overlap is due to p pi d pi overlap and uh, this is the a structure of so2 molecule in which one lone pair of electron is here and uh, the bond length of these two bonds one due to the double bond of with oxygen and due to the single bond with oxygen they both have the same bond length it is around 143 picometer and this is due to the resonance structures of these two sulf uh, sulfur dioxide molecule now come to the next dioxide of group 16 it is selenium dioxide seo2 it is white crystalline solid and in gaseous state it has same structure as sulfur dioxide so2 and the structure is like that and in solid state when the selenium dioxide present in solid state it has a polymeric structure consisting of infinite chain when the polymers are combining together they combines in the form of chain so in uh, solid state selenium dioxide present in a polymer form and uh, in which the selenium seo2 molecule combines in a infinite chain manner and similarly when we come to the other oxides of group 16 like teo2 and po2 
are also non volatile crystalline ionic solids they are also solids tellurium dioxide and polonium dioxide they are also non volatile crystalline solids and occur in two crystalline forms of each now come to the next type of oxides which are formed by group 16 is trioxides and the formula for trioxide is eo3 the elements of group 16 forms trioxide of the formula eo3 where e is any of the group 16 element so now let's discuss the structure in this case uh, first of all the uh, when we discuss the structure of sulfur trioxide so3 has tri trigonal planar structure in gaseous state in which sulfur atom is sp2 hybridized so the structure will be like this in which sulfur atom will be attached with three oxygen atom with a double bond and the structure is trigonal planar it is in gaseous state and the sulfur atom which is a central atom it will be have sp2 hybridization in this case and in which the three there are three s double bond o bonds having the bond lengths of 142 picometers they all will have the same bond length again and the three s o pi bonds are different the nature of the bonds are different but the bond lengths are same the three s o pi bonds are different one one pi bond is due to the p pi p pi bonding and the two pi bonds are due to the d pi p pi bonding jo ek S double bond O bond है वो तो है due to p pi p pi bonding p orbit p orbital of S sulfur and p orbital of oxygen के combination से bond form होगा that will be p pi p pi bonding and the other will be p pi d pi bonding जिसमें जो d हम use कर रहे हैं orbital that is the vacant orbital of sulfur because sulfur has vacant d orbital in its valency shell but the bond lengths the nature of the bonds are different the nature of all the three bonds in so3 are different is different but the bond length of all the three bonds are same why because of the resonance again because all because it will form a resonating structure with each other due to this the bond lengths are same but the nature of the bond is different in this now SO3 molecule exist as a gas at room temperature because they are held together by weak van der Waals forces of attraction because the molecules in uh, the atoms in SO3 molecule they are held together by the weak van der Waals forces of attraction and due to this SO3 molecules exist as gas kyunki attraction molecules ke beech mein kam hoga to molecules jo SO3 uh, atoms ke beech mein attraction kam hoga jo molecule hai SO3 ka uske jo particles hai wo bahut dur ek dusre se dur lie karenge due to this uska jo nature hai wo gas ki tarah act karega because we know that jo gas ke particles hote hain wo एक दूसरे से उनमें जो अट्रैक्शन होता है वो बहुत वीक होता है तो इसीलिए SO3 मॉलिक्यूल भी रूम टेम्परेचर पे गैस की तरह एग्जिस्ट करता है ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वीक वेंडर वॉल फोर्सेज ऑफ एट्रैक्शन इन द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ SO2 और द एटम्स ऑफ SO2 SO3 मॉलिक्यूल्स इन सॉलिड स्टेट इट एग्जिस्ट एज अ लीनियर पॉलीमेरिक चेन स्ट्रक्चर और द साइक्लिक ट्राइमर and the structure of the linear polymeric chain will be like this in which it will form a polymer of the which is the combination of different so3 molecule or it can also be present in the form of cyclic trimer as well and the structure for the cyclic trimer is like that in which it forms a cyclic form and three so3 molecules come join together to form a cycle cyclic trimer in that case now come to the next trioxide of this group seo3 it exists as a monomer in a, in the vapor state and the structure of seo3 is like this and a it, it exists as a cyclic tetramer tetramer as well in the crystalline state and it is exist in the form of se4o12 and the structure is like this in which four sel selenium atom combines with 12 oxygen atom in a cyclic tetramer form 
now if we come to teo3 it also exists and it is unreacted with water similarly poo3 has been detected in traces amounts only now come to the next reactivity of group 16 element reactivity towards halogen or if any compound reacts with halogen then the formation of halides takes place so you can say the formation of halides as well here in this the elements of group 16 form a large number of halides of the type ex6 ex4 and ex2 where x is any of the halogen and e is group 16 elements the stability of these halides will be in this order where fluoride ion will have higher stability than chloride ion then bromide ion then iodide ion now first of all come to dihalides which is of the form ex2 amongst the dihalides sulfur dichloride is best known scl2 is best known in this sulfur atom undergoes sp3 hybridization and it is angular in shape the dihalides of selenium are not stable except selenium other elements are other elements form stable dichlorides and dibromides uh, but the selenium do not have the stable dihalides now if we come to tetrahalides which has the formula of ex4 and the tetrafluorides among the tetrahalides tetrafluorides are more stable because i have already discussed the stability order of the halides fluoride ion has highest stability among all the halide ions so tetrafluorides are more stable among tetrafluoride sf4 is a gas sef4 is liquid tf4 is solid SF4 sulfur tetrafluoride is highly reactive and is most stable than other than the lower fluorides and uh, if we come to hexa hexahalides hexahalides will have the formula like EX6 now in this case among the hexahalides only hexafluorides are stable compounds only hexafluorides non other halides only hexafluorides will be stable and these are all are gaseous in nature now let's do some question in answer the question is sf6 is known but scl6 is not known why so the answer for this question will be because due to the smaller size of sulfur it can accumulate it cannot accumulate six large chlorine atoms around it बिकॉज जो सल्फर का साइज है वो स्मॉल है सल्फर अपने सराउंडिंग में सिक्स लार्ज क्लोरीन आइटम्स को सराउंड नहीं कर पाता नहीं कर सकता एंड बट ऑन द सेम साइड सल्फर ड्यू द स्मॉलर सिक्स फ्लोरीन आइटम्स कैन इजिली बी एक्यूमुलेटेड अराउंड द सल्फर आइटम क्योंकि जो फ्लोरीन आइटम्स हैं उन अगर वो सिक्स भी फ्लोरीन आइटम है तो उनका जो साइज है वो स्मॉलर है एज कम्पेयर टू द सिक्स फ्लोरीन आइटम तो सल्फर आइटम की टेंडेंसी है कि वो अपने सराउंड में सिक्स स्मॉलर फ्लोरीन आइटम को तो सराउंड कर पाता है इसीलिए एस एफ सिक्स मॉलिक्यूल नोन है एंड सी एल जो क्लोरीन आइटम्स हैं दे हैव अ लार्जर साइज एंड दे आर सिक्स इन नंबर एंड सल्फर कैन नॉट एकट द लार्जर और द बिगर सिक्स क्लोरीन आइटम अराउंड इट दैट्स वाई एस सी एल सिक्स डजेंट एग्जिस्ट it is not known whereas sf6 is known now i have some practice questions for you do these questions first is so3 has zero dipole moment why second which oxide of sulfur act as oxidizing as well as reducing agent third sf6 is not easily hydrolyzed explain and the fourth one is what is the shape of so2 molecule so that's all for today we will meet in our next video with our new topics thank you keep watching